Hi, my name is Parker and I am the Program Director at Natural World Education. Welcome to your Naturalist Moment. Today we are visiting Jones Lake State Park in North Carolina to talk about Carolina Bays. Now, Carolina Bays are a unique type of water formation. These formations have astounded and kept scientists puzzled for many years. Why, you may ask? Well, they have a little bit of a mystery behind them. Now, these water formations were formed more than 10,000 years ago, and they all have the same oval shape and the same direction orientation. All of these water formation points from southeast to northwest. They are also all shallow, some of them being only eight feet deep and some of the deepest being only around 13 feet deep. Now, this has been a mystery to scientists for many years because they haven't been able to figure out how did all of these water formations form at the same time and have the same shape and all point in the same direction. Some theories as to how Carolina Bays were formed are oriented lake theory, uh, spawning fish theory, maybe fish that were traveling from one area to another helped to shape the lakes, artesian springs, uh, sinkhole theories, and one of the most uh, interesting one is maybe that all of these different Carolina Bays were formed by a meteor shower that came in really low and kind of made the oval shape that, and that's also why they were so shallow. Carolina Bays are unique ecosystems and they're called Carolina Bays because of the types of trees that you find along the shores. Everything from lob lollies to sweet bays um, and swamp bays all live around the shores of these Carolina Bays. Uh, Carolina Bays also have very high acidity in the water and the water is usually a dark brown color because of all of the dead plant matter that is decomposing along the shores. Carolina Bays are really interesting and scientists are continuing to try and figure out how these water formations were formed more than 10,000 years ago. Maybe someday scientists will come up with a theory that fits in all of the different unique features about the Carolina Bays to explain how they were formed. Thank you very much and thank you for joining us for today's Naturalist.